Good day everyone! In this video, I will be discussing about percent of change, an application of percentage base and rate. Now let's read the story of the day. The price of oil increases from 48 pesos to 54 pesos per liter. What is the percent of increase in oil prices? Now in this problem, we are asked to find for the percent. Therefore, we are looking for the rate, right? But before answering this, let's define first what is percent of increase. Percent of increase is the extent to which a variable gains value. It is the result of dividing the amount of increase and the original value. To find for the amount of increase, all you need to do is to subtract the new value minus the original value. And take note that amount of increase is a percentage. Using the Tekken's triangle, the formula for the rate is, if you can still remember, it's percentage divided by the base. Now in this case, to find for the percent of increase, we divide the amount of increase, which is the percentage, then divide it by the base. Base is the original value. Now, let's answer the story problem using our formula. Percent of increase is equal to the amount of increase divided by the original value. Now, here is the equation. Percent of increase, which is our rate, is equal to the percentage divided by the base. The base is the original value, and the original value of the oil price is 48. And for the percentage is the amount of increase where we can find the amount of increase by subtracting the new value to the original value. So our equation here is 54 minus 48 divided by 48. Let's subtract 54 minus 48. We have 6. So this is 6 over 48. Then we divide 6 divided by 48. We have 6 is our percentage. So it's our dividend divided by 48 for our base. Since this 6 divided by 48 is 0. and So we can continue a decimal point at 0. Don't forget the decimal point here. Now we can now divide. So we have 48. And this is 2. This is 12. Add another 0 until there will be no remainder so 120 divided by 48 is 2 and this is 16 carry 1 9 so we have 4 this is 2 and add another 0 so we have here 5 40 carry 4 24 and then there is no remainder anymore now this 0 0.125 is in decimal number to change this into percent we move the decimal point two places to the right then add the percent symbol so our answer here is 12.5%. So to answer the question, what is the percent of increase in oil prices? 12.5% of increase in oil prices. If there is percent of increase, there is also percent of decrease. Now what is percent of decrease? It is the extent to which a variable loses value. It is the result of dividing the amount of decrease and the original value. So this is an opposite of percent of increase. Now, to find for the amount of decrease, we subtract the original value to the new value. And again, it's the same as the percent of increase. The amount of decrease is a percentage. Now, using the Tekken's triangle, the formula is still P divided by B. And since we are dealing with percent of change or percent of decrease, the formula here for percent is equal to amount of decrease divided by the original value. Let's apply it here in the story problem. Ami used to weigh 150 pounds. After enrolling herself in a fitness program, she now weighs 120 pounds. How many percent did her weight decrease? So the question here is the percent of decrease. For our equation, using the formula, which is percent of decrease, is equal to 150 minus 120 so percent is the rate uh, 150 minus 120 is the percentage and this one 150 is the base or the original value is 150 and when we subtract for our equation we have here 150 minus 120 we have here 30 then we divide 30 divided by 150 this is 0 a decimal point at 0 this is 2 is 300 no more remainder so in decimal number the answer is 0.2 and when we change this into a percent 
you, we need to move the decimal point two places to the right. So we have one, two, add zero to the empty place value. So the answer is 20%. So the question, how many percent did her weight decrease? Her weight decreased by 20%. Let's have another example. Julie scored 15 on her first summative test. She then scored 21 on the second. By how many percent did her score increase? So we're looking for the percent of increase. The formula for the percent of increase is the rate is equal to percentage divided by the base or percent of increase is equal to the amount of increase divided by the original value. So the original value on her first summative test See, she got 15. And for the new value, which is 21, minus the original value, which is 15. So let's solve 21 minus 15. This is 6 and 0. So 6 divided by 15, add decimal point, add 0, divide, do this. this is 4, and 60. No more remainder. So in decimal number, the answer is 0 0.4. And when we change it into percent, we move two places to the right. So the answer here is 40%. Now, um, her score increased by 40% from first summative test to the second summative test. Another one, Joyce allowance increased from 200 to 250 pesos a day. How much is the percent of increase? So using the formula again, we have here the amount of increase from 200 to 250 so 250 minus 200 divided by 200 which is the original price so let's solve 250 minus 200 we have here 50 then divide the 50 to 200 add decimal point since 50 divided 200 is 0 so we divide here 4 2 sorry this is 4 this is 100 and add another 0 so this is 5 and there's it's 1000 so no more remainder so the answer is 0 0.25 and move two places to the right to make it a percent so the answer is 25 percent so how much is the percent of increase in in her allowance her allowance increased by 25 percent next a school had 2100 enrollees last school year this school year their number of enrollees increased by 126 what was the percent of increase so still we are still looking for the rate percent of increase and our formula or our equation is percent of increase is equal to 126 divided by 2100 so as you can see we don't need to subtract the new value to the original value since it says here that the enrollees increased by 126 therefore the amount of increase is already given and we just have to divide 126 divided by 2100, which is the original uh, value. So let's solve. We have 126 divided by 2100. So add decimal point, add zero, then divide. Don't forget the decimal point on top. So this is zero. Still, 1260 divided by 21 is still zero. Add another zero. So it becomes 12,600 divided by 21 we have that is six let's try six so this is zero zero six twelve and there is no remainder so the answer is 0 0.06 in decimal but changing it into percent we move two places so the answer is six percent so the number of enrollees increased by six percent next in a school the number of students who come late decreased from an average of 170 students to 119 students per term how much is the percent of decrease so we are looking for the percent of decrease and the equation or the form that we're going to use is percent of decrease is equal to the amount of decrease divided by the original value and this is our equation we have 170 minus 119 which is the original value minus the new value divided by the original value let's solve 170 minus 119 so we have here 1 this is 5 so 51 divided by 170 a decimal point at 0 this is 0 this is 3 0 21 carry 2 5 so there is no remainder 
Therefore, in decimal number, our answer is 0 0.3. And if we change that into percent, we have here moved two places. The answer is 30%. Therefore, the number of students who come late decreased by 30%. Next, a t-shirt is on sale for 250 pesos. If its original price is 500 pesos, what is the percent of change in the price of the t-shirt? Let's analyze this problem if it is percent of increase or percent of decrease. Because it says here that we're looking for the percent of change. So the original price is 500. Then it is on sale for 250. Therefore, it is percent of decrease. And for our equation, we have 500, which is the original price, minus the new price, which is 250, divided by 500 for the original price. And then to solve, we have 500 minus 250, that is 250. So we divide 250, divided by 500, that is 0, a decimal point at 0, we have here 5, this is 2,500. And there is no remainder to change the percent, the answer is 50%. So the price of the t-shirt decreased by 50%. Last example. Last month, the grade 6 students gathered 10,000 pesos in their coin bank collection. This month, they gathered 7,500. How many percent did the collection decrease? So, we are looking for the percent of decrease. And our equation here is percent of decrease is equal to 10,000 pesos, which is the original value, minus the new value, which is 7,500, divided by the original value, which is 10,000. Then, let us solve. So 10,000 minus 7,500. We have here 2,500. Then we divide 2,500 divided by 10,000. A decimal point at zero. So this one is 25,000. We have here 2. 20,000. There's another 5,000. Add another zero. So this is 5. So this is 50,000. No more remainder. The answer is 0 0.25 or 25%. So point bank collection this month decreased by 25%.